in this video we are going to see how to create this model using grasshopper in rhino first i'm going to delete this you need to open grasshopper it's opening first we need to create a point and right click set one point I'm going to place it here then I'm going to move this point into y direction for that I'm going to use move command and the point to the geometry and the motion is the direction so I'm going to use unit y command and connecting the vector to the motion now it's move towards the y direction now I want to multiply these points so I'm going to use series command this will multiply the points and we need to give some values here for the start I'm going to give 0 for the steps I'm going to give around 20 basically the steps is the distance between the points you see okay for now the count is 5 5 is enough for me you can give whatever the values you want okay now i need to move these points in x direction so i'm going to use move command again and connect the geometry to geometry and for the direction i'm going to use unit x and connect the vector to the motion okay for the factor i'm going to use the gene pool command in this command we can change the position of each points just double click uh, we have five counts so give it five and the decimal will be zero the maximum value will be 20 okay so we have five points now i'm going to connect it to the factor now you see you can change the position of the points so i'm going to change randomly okay and so i want this on the other side so i'm going to mirror this for mirror i'm going to use move command again and i'm going to connect the points to the geometry for the direction i'm going to use the same x direction for this time i'm going to use the negative value so vector to value and the result to the motion so we can get the points in the other direction now i don't want this point so i'm going to hide this for now this point also i'm going to hide this also and i'm going to create arc between these points for that I am going to use by r command and this geometry to the start point and this geometry to the end point and for the tangent I am going to use z direction unit and for the end tangent it will be the negative value of this one So now we get the wireframe of the model. From the wireframe, we can create a surface using loft command. Connect the by arc to the curves. Then we get the base surface. I want to create a pattern and flow the pattern through the surface. For that, I'm going to create a pattern in Rhino. First, I'm going to create a rectangle 15, 15. So, first fill at these corners for radius 3 and offset it for 0.5 meters. And using interpolate curve, I'm going to create a line in the center and adjust it through the 
100 points now i'm going to mirror this okay i'm going to create a planar surface through this first creating a planar surface using curve boolean i'm going to select this space and create a planar surface now i need to extrude this and i'm going to extrude the outer surface for 0.8 and the inner surface is for 0.6 i don't need this surface so i'm going to delete this this also same as this side these two surf surfaces now i'm going to mirror this from the front view go back to perspective and now i'm going to use blend surface to blend this curve blend this surface this is this looks good and i'm going to mirror this now we created a pattern i want to do a little bit change okay. from the solid tools we can turn on the solid control points and i'm going to scale this down and same as this end now this looks good now we need to import this into grasshopper i'm opening grasshopper and here i'm going to use birup and set multiple birups okay now we imported the model into grasshopper okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this pattern through the surface for that i have to divide the segments in the surface so i'm going to use iso trim the lofted surface to the surface and domain for we have to use divide domain segments to domain and the lofted surface to domain and we need to give some u count and v count for the u count i'm going to give 16 and the v count i'm going to give 8 you can see now the segments are changing now i have to create a box around each segments for that i'm going to use surface box surface to surface and we have the domain and height will be 1.2 then i'm going to use box morph For the geometry we are going to use this brup first we need to change the brup into mesh for that i'm going to use brup mesh and connect the brup to the brup and now the target is this twisted box i'm going to connect the twisted box into the target and the geometry and reference will be the mesh i'm going to connect this okay now we can see the pattern is applied on the surface but we need to graft it so i'm going to use right click and graft so the pattern is created so that's it i'm going to use some custom preview using color swatch 
we can change the color of the material now I'm going to bake this one and also I'm going to bake this lofted surface before that I have to offset this lofted surface for the thickness aloft to the surface and the distance will be 0.1 we can use the custom preview to see how it's gonna come let's watch for the material material color so the surface is offset in other direction I want the negative direction so I'm going to use the negative command connect to the value and the result to the distance so it's came right here now I'm going to bake it that's it our model is created